What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with a Patreon request. It's time we're checking out Buried Alive. Sit there like a lemon, okay? Now, this is not my first experience with Buried Alive. I first came across uh, this person on my stream, right? Absolutely insane person, uh, insane player. Very, very like like over the top with the visuals and everything. Dude's got his own style. I've never heard anything like it. Um, it's only a two minute video, so unless there's like a lot to break down in here, it might be a short reaction. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, shut up and turn it up. <laughs> Also, I don't recall. Never mind. He has. I, I don't recall that live action video. It's always been visuals, right? I do the same thing with the broom. Oh, wait a minute. They're singing in here, too. Yo, I did not know that he was a singer. Let me make sure that's actually him singing. Music produced by Kevin Cho. Video directed by Scott. <clears throat> Mixed and mastered by Kevin Cho. I guess that's his name. I don't think I ever knew what his name is. But he's singing. I didn't know he could sing. Now, very interesting choice of tone for the guitar to make it kind of sound like that. Right? Sitting there like a lemon. And we sit here and we think about, like, a lemon. Right now, if somebody came to me and said, hey, uh, what does a lemon sound like? Right. You know, you know what it tastes like. You know what type of experience you go through when you're just eating a lemon by itself. Right. It kind of makes you kind of squinch up you know, like this. You know what I'm saying? And may even make your ears kind of tense up as well, which is actually kind of crazy, because if I was to think of like a tight, scrunched up uh, 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 feeling like what that would sound like it would probably sound like that <laughs> like the like the guitar itself is crying or wincing because it just got done eating a lemon now i wasn't ready for the trap drums okay everything i've heard by barry so far has just been of the rock fashion now this is of course still rock but it's more like rock trap very pleasant very very pleasant very pleasing okay <clears throat> and of course everybody's all colorful and everything really reinforcing the Buried, right? Uh, and buried alive. <laughs> You're so useless, you just sit there like a lemon. Should be red beat. Why so much? Why don't you make it your profession? If, if, if it's a mystery, all excuses slowly wasting precious seconds. Stuck on. So useless, you just sit there like a lemon. If you could get on your feet. Okay, I just want to sit here, you know, I think, I think, and see what he said, because I think I understood. Why don't you make it your, your so you sit there like a lemon? Uh, excuses, wait for precious seconds. You know, it's interesting. Um, I can kind of take this two ways, right? Janitor's kind of sitting there and he's kind of like looking at the ladies and they're all having fun. A part of me likes to think of, you know, one of them old geezers who kind of just like to sit there and uh, uh, just 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 creep. You know what I mean? Uh, but the second part of this is obviously motioning to go forward with it, uh, which we don't want to happen. You know, you don't want an old creep out here, you know, just going forward and advancing on ladies and everything. We don't want that. And of course, the second thing about it is this could, the second meaning could be simply like a uh, procrastination, right? Right here. All excuses, slowly wasted press seconds, stuck on a repeat. How many times have you guys ever opened up a social media app and then just closed it <laughs> and then opened it back up? You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just stuck on repeat. 
Um, how do you sleep? So use your pity as a weapon. Yeah. So it could, it could possibly be procrastination. A whole lot of people can use pity as, as, as a weapon. Oh man, I'm never going to be good enough to say, to say, to say good, you know, in an effort to get you to, to kind of pity them, you know what I mean? And, and give them, uh, tell them, oh, you should take a break and everything. You know what I mean? Cause most of the time, most of those responses to those type of, uh, 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 things will be more of a self-defense and, and not self-defense, like an auto response because don't nobody want, you know, for the most part, like sadness and stuff around them. Um, so they go on like an auto repeat and just say the first thing that comes to mind is probably something that they say to everybody, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's getting off topic. Let's keep it going. Unless you just sit there like a lemon How do you sleep? Go ahead, use your pity as a weapon Mr. Misery You're so useless, you just sit there like a lemon His drums Should be red beat See, man, why is it always, why is it always the most interesting drum sequences come especially when they're hip-hop or trap drums why is it that the most interesting soup sequences and, and and loops and performances come from people who don't produce trap as kind of like their primary genre isn't that crazy and i think i've come to learn why i think the reason why is because um i produce music and i've produced quite a bit well nothing that you guys would have heard um but i produced a couple of you know few whole bunch actually uh trap songs and then when i go to another genre like oh, when it called like like future bass or whatnot or um with another complicated one uh drum uh drum and bass could be complicated depending on how you go about it but when i go and try to produce these two dub steps another one um I realize how complex it is to be, especially if you want to get good, like get sounding good. Now, what this forces your brain to do is to come up with all kinds of exciting and creative ways to 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 introduce different type of elements and stuff. So by comparison, if you went to trap right where your most common thing is a kick, snare, hi-hat, maybe even a cowbell, some percussion, a main melody and a background melody, right? To somebody who's been producing much more complex stuff, like 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 orchestrated stuff, they come here, they gonna kill it, right? They drums are gonna be so flavorful. And I think that's the biggest difference. That's why these drums are like hitting and why, uh, uh, and why they sound like so good, like so, so, so delicious, if you will. Batman should be so much why don't you make it your profession if, if, if it's a mystery mm. all excuses slowly wasting precious seconds stuck on repeat you're so what do you have fun shooting this like a lemon they mouth all in a mouth feet. you know is it oh so okay so another Another meaning could be, you know, if we kind of look at somewhat of another undertone here, would be the girls are kind of sitting over there and they're doing like the, some of the most messiest stuff. Like they're getting super messy. And if I was sitting on a sideline and maybe I got used to like a certain way that I'm doing things, you know what I mean? And I'm afraid to kind of go out there and, and, and get my hands dirty. Right. Even though it looks like a lot of fun, I don't want to get all dirty up and everything. So I'm going to kind of just sit back here and kind of chill. They look like they're having a good, good amount of fun. So I'm just going to sit back here and chill. Um, they could look at it that way. But this right here is very interesting. Um, it looks like he did get his hands dirty, but just barely. Right. Nothing in compared to what the girls did. And he's sitting there and he's hugging this mannequin. Right. He's not hugging the real thing. He's latched on to something that's fake. Maybe something in there. I don't know. Maybe, but that's very interesting that they ended it right here. So instead of kind of like going out there, oh, right, that's kind of that's kind of kind of where this world is headed. You know, I often think that there's not enough love in the world, and dating must be extremely hard. I've been with my wife for 13 years. We've been we've been with each other since high school. You know, what I mean, um, so. I stopped dating in 2008, so I don't know what it's like in a dating scene. But one thing I do know is that people are finding it easier to create relationships with things that are, for the most part, out of their reach or not real because it's a little bit easier. 
you know, have to deal with stuff artificial, you know? Mm, I don't know. That might be a reach. Uh, but that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.